Yeah. What a treat we have for you today. We, 40 ring gauge points. We have the Trinidad Fundadores, don't we? How exciting. A re I never quite understood why they added, because originally this was, this was once Cohiba was um, commercialized, mm. they made these as the diplomatic gift. I mean, you remember the story I told you about the man who said, I don't want a Trinidad, I only smoke Havana cigars. Yes, thinking it was actually from uh, Trinidad. Trinidad, yes. Uh, but no, this is this is a, it's a great. I think the two there was a story behind it saying it was because of draw issues, adding the two points to, to the ring. Well, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, any any. I mean, I don't really. Know, I mean, it does seem a very. So this was also a gift. Do you want to? Do you want to? slice yours? With yeah, the with, the, with the with the Death yeah, Star. Of course. You don't want again. No, no bother with the V cut or the straight. Are you mad? Yes. There we go. Look, look at that. Is it like quite heavy to operate? Oh yeah, but yeah. It's like it's it's kind of like um, you know. You really. Well, you know the be, club uh, manager here is also the club manager of the Bath and Rackets. So I should go there for kind of. Well, I think he might actually have taken some of the exercise equipment and used it to cut cigars. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. It yeah. looks as though you've been giving yourself quite Oof. a workout. There. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah. A full on workout that was. Gosh, I mean, I'm just tired looking at it actually. Um, yeah, yeah, we set fire to it now, Max. I think, I think obviously, it's obviously yeah, I'm you're staring at the water. I don't know whether to dip it in the water or bring set it to the fire flame. To it it's, it's a, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Well, look, will you, you please, will you please, will, will you please? All I can do is cut them. I don't know what else oh, to do next. Oh, fuck well, operate <laughs> your cigar lighter. I want to operate I mean, one you want of me these. To light your spill. The I'd like my spill. spill. At the, and the great thing about these spills is that you have the flame end. The flame end. The flame emoji on it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> the flame emoji. I should have really gone for a spill, never mind. And it's very important that when you're lighting the cigar, you hold the bit that says Mark's Club Cigar Keeps up in a legible way. Ooh. Oof. How's that going? Oh, it's delicious. Tastes what do you like about it? It's very much like tobacco. That's of the Cuban variety. And what do you think about the... Uh, I would say that the I often describe the Trinidad as having quite a nutty yet earthy flavor to them. They're rich. Um, they've got an earthiness not dissimilar to Monte Cristo's, but without the tang, without that zestiness you, you often mention. Uh, in you disgust. often mention it. No, you often mention the tanginess of Monte Cristo's. I oh, mention the zestiness. Setting fire to my suit, setting fire to the club. It's, it's, on, it's still on fire. Still on fire. Well, I mean, it's, it takes, I mean, you know. Yeah. Well, you know, it'll keep us warm, I suppose. Yeah, or cool, or depending. Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, you were saying, I mean, I don't, I, you know, nutty I get, but kind of strong I don't. I mean, they're not really, I mean, they're more of a mild to medium cigar for me. Yeah, they're meant to be medium, but for me also mild to medium. I'd say. I mean, this one, yes. I mean, I think the different ones, they, the, my favorite was the Robusto Extra, which was so good they discontinued yeah, it. Yeah, like they do with these things. Yeah, which was a 50 ring gauge, but um, long. And there was the Robusto T, which Robusto T was so, was described by one friend of mine as being so delicious that the tiny little bit he couldn't smoke, he, he got right down to the end. No, he wanted to eat it. Ah, that was it, he wanted to eat it. So this was a cigar, um, I think used by by uh, by Fidel um, shortly after the um, the Cohiba was released. This was '69, wasn't it? Something along those lines. And also for the same purpose to give as gifts. Um, and it was created as a gift. Yes. yes and wasn't Let me just out. see what I say in my book. Oh yeah, why well, um, you must? Well, mm. I could I could yeah. read well, to, 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 to our books, viewer so, to yeah. our viewer at home. A nice uh, so a what a bedtime, work of, bedtime story. What a work of genius this is. I mean, honestly. What have you got in there? Look, ooh. God, there's wow. so much information, knowledge. Amazing. Vegas Rabina. Uh, God, let's have a look. Okay. What have you right. For, this, for, for years, this cigar enjoyed the almost mythical status. Well, yes. check. The unicorn of cigars. The unicorn of cigars, check. El Comandante's favorite diplomatic gift, the Cohiba, came onto the market in the early 80s, while the Trinidad, although inaugurated a couple of years after the Cohiba in 1969, retained its air it its of myth and mystery until well into the 1990s, which, uh, is, hey. which is only yesterday for me, but kind of about like the beginning of time for you. Yeah. <laughs> 
made its debut, as we know, at the Dinner of the Century in Paris in 1994. Yes. Yes, that famous dinner. Now, Originally available only in one size, but that was the 38 ring gauge version of this one. That's great that up until 2003 or something, it was, it was a one size brand. It's almost unheard of. Mm -hmm. It's great. It's very good. Then they brought in, I think it was the Reyes, Robusto T. Then the Colonialis came later, didn't it? Or was it alongside the Colonialis? Colonialis, uh, Colonialis and Reyes came out at the same time. Ah, there we go. That's what it was. Um, the Laguito Especial is the name of the Vitola. As it is 40 as opposed to 38, otherwise it would be Laguito. And I think the extra ring gauge points, for me, if you smoke a Cohiba Lancero, this feels a little chunkier in the hand. Yeah, for sure. And you, bit, you notice the extra... The extra weight, Oof. Well, Very yeah, well, I mean, are. you've been operating the, the, the heavy exercise machinery. machinery. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. Which I shouldn't really op operate. It remained a single drinking. size brand until 2003, you're correct. Well, I've read your book a few times, you can tell. Well, yes. And the 50, blah, 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 blah. And the Robusto T in 2009, delicious cigar, blah, 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 blah. And the V here, I think, was the. That's the very fit. That's the one that's, that's kind of um, brought the, the brand to the, to the public's attention, I think. Well, that's an interesting one because it's 54 ring gauge and it's kind of almost antithetical to the idea of Trinidad, because Trinidad was about slender elegance and the 54 ring gauge thing. It just, it changes the flavor altogether. I think our drinks are ready now, actually. You've You're having a Manhattan. Look at that, ooh. Mm. Mm. So let's see. Oh, it's nice. Actually, beautifully done. Is vermouth what is used in the, the world famous, um, what's the one Freddie enjoys, Negroni? Or is that my mistake? Yeah, that's the one. That's yeah. That's uh, that's the uh, that's the the, the Waco uh, the, the, the the drinker. Waco, the drink of choice of the younger person. The younger person. Yes. There we go. I must say, I'm not a huge um, drinker of anything alcoholic. Water and Coca Cola, probably. Yeah, but what does that taste like? Because I don't think I've ever had a Manhattan. Oh wow! Very interesting. It's kind of like. Um, Almost kind of vanilla esque. It's, it's very like. Um, oh, right. because of the bourbon, the cut of the bourbon. There we go. Yeah, I, you definitely. I was not expecting that. From the colour, I'd expect something kind of. Our favourite adjective, tangy, zesty, but I'm instantly hit with the smoothness of almost ice cream, you know. Um, May I smell it? Uh, indeed, you can. I'll try my best not to spill it all over your suit. Thank you. What do you think? Yeah. Is it, you've got a bit of citrus in there. You've got, you've got the got citrus a bit of, on the smell. Yeah, you sure, have. On the aroma, but... No, mm, actually, there's a, there's, there's a bit there for sure. There's kind of lemon and vanilla and... It's very smooth. Um, which, which, which works well with the kind of nutty, smooth, in, in my eyes, earthiness of the, of the Trinidad, um, Trinidad Fundadores. So it's a very good matching, I think. I'm unable to comment, seeing as I haven't drunk How's it. How's your iced tea going in that case? Well, I, uh, I like iced tea, so yeah. um, I think it goes, it goes... Pretty well with anything, doesn't it? Well, I have a limited, um, I have a limited repertoire of flavours. I mean, I, mean I, I need, since we let the butler go on furlough 25 years ago, yeah. um, we're reduced to whatever rubbish I can find knocking around the house. Shame I missed out on the butler. Yeah, mm. well, we all did. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, but yeah no this is this is great it goes very very well it's 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 delicious um so we're talking they've, got the, they've recreated the bouquet here quite nicely actually you've got a you've got the same kind of well smell it smell 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 yes no, that, I mean, that, that quite might be partially due to the, the rind or you know the well whatever it is it's 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 great similar, isn't it and it also means i don't have to kind of Throw it down my neck in the in the in the aggressive and sort of high speed fashion. The, the way in which you do your um, Nutribullet drinks. Oh, don't talk those to me just about, go. Don't, don't talk to me about those. Okay, They're disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> the sound is pretty bad. I mean, I can the sound is the bad. The flavour is ten times worse. Wow. I mean, it's just. I just drink it to prolong my life. 
<laughs> maybe I should start. Well, maybe life feels longer because it's just so <laughs> foul <laughs> tasty. Yeah. We should make one of those that goes well with a cigar. Probably with a Jose El Piedro or something. Mm -mm. something well, we have to, maybe maybe that's drink. a project for your um, next lockdown. So, so these, the, the Trinidad Fundadores, are in uh, boxes of 24. Unusual, um, that. Yes. Um, the same way in which the new um, La Reina uh, yep. from Aurelio de Mundo is, is packaged. Uh, but yes, unusual for sure. Usually 25s they come in, um, which, is, which is great to see. Uh, it's still, all the other sizes, they either come in boxes of 12 or 24, which is quite unique. Mm -hmm. You don't really see elsewhere. They have the pigtails that we've cut off and we put inside the Death Star. Um, <laughs> so the same way... Yeah, what happens to the bits and bobs that go look, into well, the Death Star? Look at this. This is great. So you've got this bit here with an open and a close. Um, this is called the Quasar. Just in case no, anyone, you're joking. In just in case anyone was interested in It's so one. good. Well, well, they, 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 do they have a special Marx Club one? Was it designed in New York City? The same, the birthplace of the Death Star, actually. Probably. And the birthplace of the Manhattan. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, this is just getting to it's be getting, too good. Yeah, it's far too good. It's, but not, the, it's, un, it's not real. Am I dreaming? You know? <laughs> the only thing is, of course, that the, 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 uh, our, our American cousins, when they're enjoying their libations, can't necessarily have... Um, a, cig a Cuban cigar. No. Not legally, not legally. Not legally, but from what I understand, if you ask nicely enough, they'll, they'll take them up from behind the counter and uh, sell you a few. From my uh, American customers, they do tell me these things. This is very interesting. You, you can actually get them, but uh, it's not, not often spoken of. Yes, I mean, there was a thing that actually America is one of the largest export markets for Havana cigars, just surreptitiously. Well, they were worrying that the market, you know, if Cubans became legal in the States, that uh, we'd have no, no one buying them here. Well, now that Havanos is owned by China, uh, it's probably going they to won't be let case. any, I mean, they're never going to let well, the that. Americans have any cigars. Oh, <laughs> because, they, you know, because they're not terribly, they're not on terribly good terms at the moment. Oh, okay, I see, yes. So that's my um, geopolitical view on these things. This is great. Might I have another sip, Father? You, you sip away. I, oh, oh, well, don't overdo it, though. Ooh. Oh, gosh. Can't really handle any um, heavy machinery after this, so I think I'll have to hand over the Quasar to you mm. um, uh, at some point or another. Uh, how is your cigar d developing? A any change in flavor? I notice you're still within the first third. Um, it's the first of four it's, thirds. It's, it's, it's gentle. <laughs> It doesn't have, for me, the complexity of, um, of say, a Cohiba Lanceros. No. It certainly does. And I've also noticed more spice behind the... Uh, um, yeah, I mean, there's, it, it's, a bit, it's a bit... I mean, not unrefined, that would be the wrong word, but there's... No. Um, Maybe I don't know. I I don't know, but it, it it's not as it's not as complex. No, and the flavour you're meant to focus on anyway is, is the aftertaste. Once you've blown the smoke out, the yes. flavour is left behind. And uh, after blowing the smoke out initially, you get quite a smooth flavour. But then this spice does develop on the tip of my tongue, which is quite interesting. How it doesn't hit me immediately after exhaling. Um, so that, 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 but that's pleasant. It's not a spice that I dislike. You know how I don't like my spice. So, uh, you don't like the highly seasoned foods? The highly seasoned, not, not, a, not a huge fan of the highly seasoned, seasoned cigars either. So, uh. But I've got very nice ash. It's a very well made cigar. I've got a maybe could have a slightly easier draw. My draw's good, but my ash isn't as perfect no. as yours. That's the great thing about the Cubans. These are probably completely different sizes as well. I mean, if we put them next to each other. One's a Robusto and one's yeah. a... No, but but um, we've got to talk about Bruno. Oh, of course. We, well, Bruno, you I, I know, Bruno I, was fantastic. Bruno here was the Metra. And he used to work at Claridge's. And then when he retired, Mark went to Italy and persuaded him... Mark Burley, that is, went to Italy and persuaded him to join Mark's club. And I remember when the, um, he was used to serving the Queen Mother at Claridge's, and when the Queen Mother used to come here, um, he used to cut flowers from his own garden and bring them in and have them arranged on the table for the Queen Mother. It was, it was charming, actually. That's lovely. And it was very sweet. I mean, I remember being in here once, um, 
must have been 1998, 99, and the Queen Mother was in for lunch. And it, people tend to behave when there's royalty around. At least <laughs> they behave in Marx Club. I mean, everybody behaves at Marx Club impeccably all the time, of course. But um, even more so. And everybody stood up when she stood up. And it was very... And Bruno, he was so proud of that, mm. you know. He was so proud. He, he gave... One of the things that's nice about Marx Club is that the, 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 you know, the people who work for the club have a real sense of pride in what they do, and he really exemplified that beautifully. I mean, I'm not surprised looking around at the... At the, the well, this didn't, this didn't exist in Marx's time. Well... Uh, and th this is, to my thinking, the nicest terrace for cigars in the West End that I know of. What do you think? I mean, obviously we're paid to stay here and say how brilliant it is, so... Well, it is brilliant. Though. But I mean, we don't have to even we don't even have to fib, do we? No, it's great. It's, 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 and I, if I worked here, I'd be very proud of it. You know, the same way in which I'm proud of working at Davidoff. Mm. If, if I were here, it would be the same. It's a lovely place. So, this is a waste. It's almost a waste to talk about this cigar. But I know what you mean. There's a slight pepperiness on the, only very, very not not overpoweringly so, but on the on the aftertaste. Mm -hmm. I, I quite like the amount of smoke that's, that's coming from it as well. Well, that's, that's I think because you've got such a great draw. Yeah. Well, maybe because I've just set fire to it. All, you know, it's no, but it's great. You have, I mean, again, you have the, it's, it's, a, it's a sort of pleasure for all the senses, really, isn't it? You've, yeah. you've got to the touch and hold the cigar. You yeah. look at it. It's a beautiful, glossy wrapper. Mm. And it's also the fun about picking out a Cuban because you'll have to look through the box to find a nice example. You and don't have to look through the box. You don't have to, of course you don't have to, but you might end up with a dud if you don't. Mm -hmm. um, so when you do uh, make a point of looking for a nice one, you pick out a nice one and it smokes very well, you're very pleased with yourself. Yeah. You know, which is another... I mean, I don't pat, my, uh, pat myself on the back for much, but when I pick out a nice, uh, a nice Cohiba Lancero or Trinidad Fundadores, uh, it's definitely a, definitely a pat on the back there, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is. I mean... And this, I mean, I've got a pale, very pale. What do you think of this as a uh, Colorado Claro or something? Yes, yes. Mine, mine's Colorado slightly lighter Clara, than yours. Yeah, yeah mine's, a, mine's yes, a shade slightly, lighter. Yeah, and you've got a slightly smoother wrapper as well. Yeah, which I like. Yeah, you do. You like your lighter cigars anyway, not in strength, but in color. In color, I like them lighter, but I actually like taste of a darker wrapper because a darker wrapper adds sweetness. Yes, to the lips more than yes. to the palate though, I think. But it's an, again, it's that subtle combination. Is that a sweet drink or not, the Manhattan? Uh, yes, sweet and rich though. Not sweet as in kind of, you know, f fruity sweetness, but more of a rich kind of uh, a smoother sweetness. And why would it go quite well with what you're smoking? Because... Uh, I think it accompanies very well the nutty richness that I often associate with the Trinidads. And also that spice, that pepper that's left in my mouth after uh, exhaling the smoke can then be kind of subdued with the, mm. with the drink. Um, but also, you know, it, it enhances other flavors like the nuttiness, like the creaminess. And well, the creaminess is more of that sensation, but the richness of the cigar. I mean, that's one of the things I miss, actually, about not drinking cocktails and things like that, is that... Um, it's, it's so, another, it's so much, it's so much fun it, pairing the flavors. It's a thing. You can win competitions. I know it, you can know. win competitions. Like our friend, Mr. Um, Darius. Yes, Nem Mr. Nemgar. When he, he, I think he paired it with baklava. He paired something with baklava. Or was it with panettone? Oh, panettone, that was it. Was it? I believe it was. Panettone, all right. That's and tea or something like that, green tea. Well, whatever it was, he did it very well. Not even alcoholic, you know. He didn't even have to get the judges no. drunk. No, <laughs> didn't even have to get the judges drunk. Yeah, fair and square. Which is a delicious cigar. It is, isn't it? And the perfect place to enjoy one as well. It is. So, um, do we have any more to say? Well, I mean, I've nothing bad to say about it, and I think I've said everything good. So. Could very well be. Uh, well, but you've got some. You must have some more stories to share on the birth of Trinidad and how, uh, as, a, as a small child, you would uh, wander around the streets of Brighton enjoying a Trinidad Fundadores. Yes, way before they were on launched. your skateboard. On, on my your, skateboard. On your skateboard. No, I and think your string vest and your pink my, string vest. Uh, yeah, I think we can safely scrub that from the record. 
Okay, uh, it was the Lanceros, wasn't it? The Cohiba. Lanceros, you got it. There we go, couldn't, yeah. Sorry but, for um, the mistake. But this is, I don't know, it's just, again, it's a masterpiece really, isn't it? It is. And the size is just... You love this size, I don't love you? it, I love it, yeah. The only thing is... is it's um, the time. It's the time. If there's, so for example, the Coronas Especial, the same ring gauge, just a little bit shorter uh, than the Cohiba Lanceros, that's a great cigar because it takes far less time than this does and you've still got the same full flavor. And um, what's, what's the shorter alternative to this? Would it be the Colonialis? Uh, to this, the Colonialis, yes, which is wider. It's a 44 Four. ring gauge. Yeah. Um, but they also did have the Trinidad Ingenios, which was a 2007 limited edition. Sabino liked those, didn't he? Yes, and that was a great size. Again, with the, well, they all had the pigtail, but again with the pigtail. That was a great size, but of course limited and difficult to find these days. Uh, and at the time... Um, Not particularly well no, thought of. No, alongside the uh, Hoyo Regalos, they weren't very... Was the, the Regalos quite sought after now? No, actually, no. no. It's, it's not. pretty kind of bog standard cigar actually. And what's the one um, the Dukes is still the Duque. Is everybody likes the Duke? Two thousand nine, oh well, yeah, everyone loves the Duke. Can't get enough of the Duke. Okay. It's the best. <laughs> well no, this I thought this was the best. Well this is the best and uh, best cigar we're smoking at the moment. Yeah. And as soon as I light up another one that could very well be the best thing. That's a great the moment, thing yeah. about cigars. It's a great thing. It's, it's a constant voyage of exploration. Yeah. And I have to say that the Marx Club cigar keeps this is just the best thing, inclu including the flame emoji. Imagine if I'd lit this at the wrong end. Well, you were going to. I know, I, to I know, you, you I just saved you. my, I mean, you just saved my, just yeah. sort of, you saved me from the shame. It wouldn't have lit at that end, you see, because it doesn't have the emoji. It doesn't have the emoji, the flame emoji. The flame emoji. This is one of the which best. Which is actually lined with Zippo fuel or something. Again, this is one know. of the best things I've ever seen. Yeah, it is, it, uh, you know, I've not seen anything quite and like I've it. But I have led shel a sheltered existence. Anyway, I think, they could, they, I could. think if the viewer is still watching this, they deserve a medal of um, <laughs> something, some I mean, sort. Maybe they, they deserve a cigar. I think they, they should. I think they should. If you leave, if you reach the end of if you reach the end of this video, then you are right to claim the first person who comes into Mark's Club after lockdown, and says. You've got to be careful. People are going to be saying what you're. No, the first person who comes in and says, "I reached the end of that video." I would like a signed copy of the Book of Cigars by Nicholas Falks, the father of the master of Vander Max Falks. I would like 50 of these Marx Club Cigar Keeps flame emoji lighting spills, and, my, and I claim my complimentary uh, Trinidad. I don't know, you'd have to speak to someone about that. Well, I think I already have, so unless they, <laughs> unless they cut it out, I think we're, well, that's, that's, that's to see if people actually watch this stuff to the end and stay awake. Yeah, there we go. So pay attention, viewer, you know it makes sense. Yeah, you can't skip anything. You might miss no, out on the No, you just prize. might be... I mean, apart from the... the we could have mentioned this midway through, and then yeah. you know, someone that skipped to the end would never have known we'd said it. Could they? I, I know, I know. We, or maybe we should have sort of located it in coded messages. <laughs> <laughs> coded okay. hands. One, those ones that pop up on the screen very quickly. Oh, yes, disappear. subliminal. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Uh, you know, like the Manchurian candidate or something like that. Oh, I really feel like going to... I really uh, feel uh, like going to uh, Mark's Club and yeah. saying... Um, I wonder why that is. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much for sticking with it. And go. remember, was that fighting the virus? One corona, one corona, corona. time.